Oh my goodness. Come on, focus. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower, obviously. Um, <laughs> probably don't need to be doing this in the kitchen. Making ch what is it like chicken rice chicken rice cheese chicken rice and cheese with broccoli all right so battery cam camera battery died um we are gonna make though chicken rice cheese broccoli and I now have to figure out how the heck I broke the bottom of my tripod off in the bottom of this camera in the little part that like screws in how the freak am I supposed to get that thing out what you broke off in there? What? Off your light. But the one off my light is interchangeable, which is good. Okay. Because at least, shoot, yeah, see, see, that right there used to have a little thing that stuck up. Crap, what the heck do I do? We have to get this out. Anyway, let me put you guys down below. I might be able to open up that bottom. Please panel. don't break it. This is what happens when we don't have a tripod. We're up in the vlogs. Okay, this is ridiculous. We are up in our vlog count and main channel videos. I don't know if I've even said that on here yet. I don't think I have. Just because of the circumstances right now, there's not a lot going on in life and more content means more stuff for you guys to watch. And so we're just gonna make more vlogs. We're gonna get back to three times a week because we kind of got bad there for a while. But that's just what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna put three videos up on my main channel, which is what I was doing today with filming. <laughs> And now I broke, oh my gosh. And now I feel like a weirdo having to hold the camera. I know I'm not holding it steady because I'm Mariah. Okay. And I just realized I'm so all over the place today. I just realized I completely, like we have not even completed making dinner. I need to go take care of that. All right, so Sam is still working on the camera. Well, he actually isn't because I'm holding it in my hand right now, but he is taking a break from working on it. He's gonna have to just try something else or try again later and then if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to get like an extract extraction kit. It's a screw extraction kit. Yeah, it's just a, you know, it's just a drill bit. You drill into the back of the screw and it catches and you can unscrew it. Well, I'm a tornado. So while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to share this recipe with you guys for the Instant Pot. So, chaos. Um, we cooked all of the chicken in here. We cooked like four, they were like medium size, about that big, chicken breasts in here for 18 minutes because they were frozen. We cooked them on this little trivet. Pulled it out, I cut them up on this, added, uh, let's see, two and a half cups of chicken broth, some broccoli, a little bit of minced garlic, salt and pepper, and then I put it on eight minutes. It hasn't built pressure yet, so it doesn't say eight, but that's how long I've put it on. Um, we ended up, it's, I'm really stressed out about the camera. What if I screwed it up permanently? I just, okay. Um, Somebody can get it out, it just might not be me. We might have to take it to a computer repair. There's one in Columbus. Great. And, um, I love the idea of having to go out right now. Well, I mean, we would need to wait. Um, I'm not going out to get something like that fixed. But that's, I've made the this combination before. Um, oh, it was about the cheese. You, once it finishes, you quick release all of the pressure and then put like a cup, cup and a half, of however much cheese, whatever kind of cheese you want in there. And then you reseal the lid and don't start the time again. Just let it sit for like three to five minutes. It will um, melt all of the cheese and it will taste so good. These are awesome, by the way. If you, like we're really bad about like buying veggies and then letting them go bad and then not realizing it. So we've started getting frozen stuff and it works out so much better. These are actually really fresh. They're the broccoli. Florets, florets, whatever from Walmart. 
will get lots. Like I probably have like four of these in my freezer right now. So I gotta get the vlog up, tonight's vlog, and I'll check back in and let you guys know how dinner is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Top five of my Instant Pot recipes for sure. This is what it looks like when it's all finished. I just opened it up and put um, what was left of the bag of cheese. That is good. That is freaking delicious. So easy. Like, so low maintenance. Hey guys, so it's been a few days. I wanted to vlog yesterday, but I just kept getting way too distracted. Um, last we talked, I think Sam was trying to fix my camera. He fixed it. Um, so he is still having to work. I am still working from home. Um, his business is taking a lot of extra steps to make sure they're not exposed to the coronavirus. And so far it's been pretty good, but I'd be danged if this pollen has not kicked my butt more than anything. Like I was so, I just keep saying, I was just so scared about the coronavirus and I forgot all about the pollen. I have major, major earache this morning because of the freaking pollen. It was 72 yesterday and beautiful. So I had to go get a prescription and I rolled down my window and I regretted it as soon as I got home. All right, so things we're doing today. I need to get ready first. Um, I need to clean this house. It has not been like, we've like run the vacuum. I've like wiped the surfaces down. I need to like clean my bathroom. I need to like vacuum the office and wipe those surfaces down. Just a lot of different things to do. Let me put you guys down. I feel like I'm moving a lot. I don't think I'm gonna have time to work out today, but I'll try because I also have to film a main channel video. Um, and even more than that, HelloFresh is supposed to be coming today. I don't know how. Aw, my coffee turned off. Um, I don't know how it's going to get here because I, I've never done HelloFresh before. So if you have, maybe this is like super normal. What is on the counter right there? But basically, it's supposed to be here this afternoon. And it says it hasn't even arrived at the UPS facility yet. I don't know how that would work. But... Um, Let's see if I can show you guys what we, so we got figgy balsamic pork. I've never heard people agree on this. Thyme or thyme, lemon thyme pork, lemon thyme pork. Yummy, look how good that looks. With, oh, okay, so wait. Um, it also has like roasted zucchini and garlic herb rice, which sounds amazing. I picked the low calorie options for this. Balsamic tomato Parmesan risotto. I think this is the one I wanna make tonight because it looks really good. And then shrimp with rice and green beans. Focus. So I'm really excited for them to come in, but it'll just be interesting to see if it actually does come in. I don't know how that will all work.
So it has, oh Lord, I need to stop talking. All right, so it's been a few hours. Um, today is my shortened day for work. So I got pulled into like a few, th excuse me, a few things, but um, I'm not doing like a full day's worth of work today. So it, it's kind of weird, but still haven't gotten ready. Still haven't filmed my YouTube video. But I did get two packages here. I'm still waiting on the UPS man. I just don't know how that whole HelloFresh thing is gonna work. You okay, Sashi? Pollen gets them just as bad as it gets us. Okay, so I got my Grove Collaborative order in. And I talked a little bit about this, I think on the other vlog. I've talked about it a little bit on Instagram. Sashi, you okay? But basically, subscription services are like a saving grace right now. Like, yeah, things are taking a little bit longer. Like, shipping is a little bit delayed, but that's okay because you don't have to leave your house. So if you plan accordingly, you should be fine. That's one thing I've learned during this quarantine is if you are not a prepared person, it will bite you in the butt. And I've even told Sam, like, we're super prepared people. But I was like, after this, I want a, like six month doomsday plan like we can survive six months if like you know the apocalypse was to actually happen so god this box really smells so good really wanted this to be my hello fresh top though okay so i got more of this you'll probably see me use this later if i end up vlogging um my bathroom like cleaning and everything this is the method antibacterial toilet cleaner I get the scent spearmint. It's a really good toilet cleaner. I know that's so weird. I bought the Myers um, in the lemon verbena scent. This is for um, your dishwasher. So we needed some more pods. So I got those. And then I bought more soap. This is the cedar and sage bar soap from Grove. It's like the actual Grove brand. Can you guys see? It smells so freaking good. I also bought some honeysuckle multi-surface cleaner. I want to spray it so I know what it smells like. Hold on. Oh my gosh. That's heavenly. Okay, so this is definitely the strongest scent for sure, the honeysuckle. But apart from geranium, this is like probably my top favorite. I've tried like six or seven, I think, five or six scents by now. I just hit my nose with that. That smells amazing. I also bought two packs of makeup wipes because if you've ever watched me do my makeup on my main channel, you've seen that I like keep one of these out and I like put my makeup on my hand and then when it's over with, I like use one of these um, and I'm out and I didn't want to have to just like run to the drugstore for one thing because where do sick people go? The drugstore to get their medication. So I got, I got these. I also got, um, this is Terra Beauty Bar's Floral Infusion Multitasking Oil. It's for body, hair, and nails. I got this. This was like 23 bucks, so this was probably a little bit more expensive. Oh, that smells really fresh. Um, but I needed something that I could use on my skin that was an oil that wasn't for my face because I feel like you can't. Like you can't mix those things. So an oil I needed for sure. And so I figured Grove Collaborative would have a good one. And then my free gift this time was, I believe these are bamboo, bamboo straws. After this, I need to go get ready. I need to get it together and go get ready. Oh, wow. Those are nice. Cause I can't stand um, the, what are they, paper? Ooh, I do metal or like stainless steel or we'll do the bamboo now. So that's my Grove Collaborative order. Needed, needed that toilet cleaner. So I'm really glad that came today. And then I also got my Nordstrom package. One of my things, their shipping has been super slow at Nordstrom. So I bought like one, two, three, four, five things from the Nordstrom sale. This one thing came by itself and then the other three haven't even shipped and then one of them got canceled. Like one of the products like wasn't canceled. So their shipping is slow, but they put everything on like a 20, 25% sale as soon as the coronavirus started. And so I mean, I'm not surprised. Things that never go on sale are on sale at Nordstrom. 
So this showed up. I actually got this. It shipped with the hanger. I actually got this because Everyday Abby, I told you guys I love her style. She has like really cool, it's like girly boho. It's not like hippie boho style. And she wears this shirt all the time with her clear heels. And I'm looking for a pair of like clear heels that are comfortable and affordable. Haven't found any. If you have any, link them in the description bar below. But she always wears this shirt and it's got like the ripped detail in the back. And I know my husband's gonna just like die when he sees that I bought a ripped up shirt. But I'm gonna try this on. It looks a little bit large, but oh, so cute. Hold on, I gotta go off camera and do this. So see, it's got like ripped up. I don't know how she wears a bra with her. I guess that's how. Just make sure it's like tucked. It's so cool. I don't know, my husband's gonna die when he like is editing this vlog. Like, really? You bought a ripped up shirt? Yes, honey. It's a look. Okay, it's a look. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in the wash. Oh, I don't like having things on my body that have not been washed. Um so I'll start cleaning. Try to put makeup on, and I really want my HelloFresh box. I wanna make dinner with it tonight. Okay, so I know it's been just me talking a lot in this vlog, but that's kind of what's been happening in life. So when I finished up work, I texted my mom and I was like, you wanna go to the grocery store? I don't wanna go by myself. Um, we actually got pretty lucky. So I've kind of found, if you have a bilo, and I don't know if this is the same across the board, but I have found the last like two or three times I've had to go to bilo and I go out like, I have not been going out much. So, um, I mean, this has been pretty spread apart and it's still happening every time. I think it's roughly 2 p.m. when they restock. So like we got there right after they put their bread out, right after they put more meat out, right after they did this and that. There were a bunch of older people that were kind of shopping. They're not using the older people hours, I guess. The, what are they called? Senior hours. Um, which really stresses me out. Like I told my mom, I was like, if you were older, like I would really want you to use the senior hours. But I just kept my distance from all of them. So I was able to get everything I needed except for peanut butter. I don't know what it is about peanut butter, but like I can't, I can't get the, the kind of peanut butter that I needed. So I figured I'd do a grocery haul. Got my half and half. Got my cat's cat litter. Sam needed milk. And I actually am making, my HelloFresh order is not coming by the way. I don't know if I've said that. It did finally update and say it's not going, it's not coming until tomorrow. So I'm gonna make um, some chicken piccata tonight. I need to get some Parmesan cheese for that. Let's see. And then all of their meat was like, if you have a Bilo card, it was like you got $3 off. So I bought this entire thing. This is the only size they had or I wouldn't have gotten this much. This entire thing of ground beef. So I think I'm gonna cook that, put it in the separate little baggies and then freeze it so that we can keep it like just in case. I bought lots of asparagus. You guys probably know if you've watched any other videos, asparagus is like our favorite. They had steaks that were $2 off with the card. So I got steaks and then their chicken was buy one, get one free. And this is their um, no antibiotic ever chicken. And it's, let's see, that's two pounds and that's two pounds and they were buy one, get one free. So got that. And then I also got a lot of canned goods, which was awesome. They were out of a lot, but I did get mine. So sweet corn, I got peas. I needed to get an onion or peas. This was the kind of peanut butter we had to get. Cause they didn't have jiff. It was super odd. I did need butter. So I got some butter and then bread. They had bread. Cause like I said, we got there at like the right time. So everything was like fully stocked. And I went by my PO box, ended up having two packages from Good Molecules. I love Good Molecules skincare. Um, my main channel video that I shared on Tuesday, I think, um, they, I, did, I used some Good Molecules um, skin, uh, what's it called, moisturizer. It's really good. Like, no, you know, artificial anything, silicone free, all that stuff. Their skincare is like really nice. So they sent me a few P, uh, PR boxes or is that what they're called? PR boxes? I feel bad. I didn't know this was even in there. Okay. Um, so 
they sent me the clarifying cleanse bar it's a soap free cleansing bar formulated with white willow bark extract to help maintain a clear complexion interesting cool can't wait to try that out the only thing about bars is i don't know what to do with them like this is clearly for your face or your skin in like a skincare way i don't know what to do with this but i'm not using it because i don't think i'd put it in my shower because it's not like regular soap i don't know um caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches yes ma'am there's 30 pairs in here 60 patches we doing that tonight So this is the pineapple exfoliating powder. How do you use this? Dispense a teaspoon of powder into palms mixed with a few drops of water to form a creamy foam. Ooh. Use up to four times a week, so it must be pretty gentle. Oh, that's cool. So I have a lot of good molecule stuff that I use. Um, like they send me stuff, and obviously before I tell you guys about it, I use it. Um, in like a review kind of way, not this kind of way. But I have not found a product that I don't like from them yet. And I have a good amount from them. I have like the silicone free priming moisturizer. And then I've got, I think it's three serums that I have from them that are really, really good. So thanks good molecules or specifically Beautylish. That's who sent me this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and just finish it out here. I had other plans to do other things in this vlog, but HelloFresh isn't coming until tomorrow. So that'll be in the next vlog and I just need to kind of clean and get this house together and disinfect from where I just brought all this stuff inside. And then still need to film tonight's video. So thank you guys for watching the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to click the subscribe button and join the fam if you are new here and we will see you guys next time.